Hi guys! And today I will show you how to crochet amazing project that could be used for every day. For this one I will use 4.5 millimeters, a ball of yarn. All additional information could be found in the description of this video tutorial, so please look. Please join me and let's get started. Let's crochet the head. I will begin from the brim part. For this, make a chain of four. One, two, three, four. Then yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the first chain stitch. Grab the yarn, pull up a loop, pull through first loop. And pull through two loops twice. So my stitch on the chain is ready. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the chain and grab the thread like this. Pull up a loop, pull through first loop and pull through two loops twice. Like this. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the chain stitch and grab the, the second thread. And make a double crochet on the chain. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the chain stitch. Make a double crochet in the chain. Here what I have. At this point let's stop and look. And I remind you, I'm working on the brim part of the head. So I have done the first round. In total it should be 80 stitches in the round. Let's look at the ready job. It is elastic brim part, so it could be bigger on your head. Let's look at the beginning. I count from the first stitch. I started from this chain, then chain of three to bring up the yarn. There is the first stitch. First stitch is the three chains to bring up the yarn. Then I have got 78 stitches and in total I have got 79. And now I'm going to work on the last stitch. And while making the last stitch, I will join two edges together. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the first stitch. I insert the hook into two loops. Pull up a loop. Insert the hook into the first stitch. And grab the yarn, pull it through two loops. And to complete the stitch, pull through two loops twice, like this. Insert the hook into the third chain stitch in the beginning of this round. Make a slip stitch. So my foundation ring is ready. As a result I have got the ring or foundation round. Let's crochet the next round. I remind you I have got 80 stitches in the round. You can have 
any amount of chains multiples of two. Pattern consists of two stitches. Make back post single crochet, chain two to bring up the yarn instead of first stitch. First stitch could be back post double crochet. Make front post double crochet. Now back post double crochet, front post double crochet, back post double crochet, front post double crochet, and back. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Then I will show you how to complete this round together. Let's complete this round together. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch in the beginning of this round. Make a slip stitch. I have done the second round of the brim part. Pattern consists of only two stitches. Pattern consists of only one round. So I will repeat this round. Make back post single crochet, then chain of two to bring up the yarn. As I did before, chain of two. Make front post double crochet. Make back post double crochet. Front post double crochet and back post double crochet like this. Front post double crochet, back post double crochet. So I make in the brim part, this is one by one rib. I have done the brim part. Let's count how many rounds I have. I will count from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have done eight rounds of the brim part. Let's measure it. It is almost seven centimeters. For me it's enough, so I can continue working on my head. The next part is the straight part. And I will show you how to crochet the new pattern. Let's crochet it. So pattern has one round. And now I am working in rows. Let's crochet preparation row one, chain, turn the work like this. I am working on the back side of the project. I am making a row of half double crochet. Let's look. There is the first stitch. Make half double crochet. Then the second one into the next stitch, three, and so on. I would like to make my head a little bit loosely. I will add 10 stitches. As you remember, I told you that I have 80 stitches. So I'm making half double crochet twice into the each of eight stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight 
make two half double crochet and let's count again one and so on you can add any amount of stitches this part you desire by yourself so the main pattern consists of only two stitches keep working in this way till the end of this row I remind you I am working on the back side of the project. This is the preparation row of half double crochet. I did two half double crochet into the stitch that I did slip stitch. And to complete this round, insert the hook into the half double crochet make a slip stitch i added 10 stitches in this round you can add more or less it depends of your head and your project make a chain turn the work this is the front side of the project Let's make the first round of the main pattern. Pattern consists of only two stitches. There is the first stitch. I insert the hook into this stitch. Before I did yarn over, make half double crochet. Yarn over the hook. I skip this stitch. insert the hook into the loop i'm working with back loop make half double crochet make half double crochet into the front loop then work i skip this one work with back loop of the next stitch make half double crochet here what I have. Make half double crochet into the front loop of the next stitch. And half double crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. And so on. So you should keep working in this way till the end of this round. Here what I have at this point. This is very unusual 3D pattern. Then I will show you how to complete this round together. Let's complete this round together. I'm working on the front side. complete this round work with half double crochet into the back loop I did a slip stitch into this loop I skip the chain stitch insert the hook into the into the half double crochet make a slip stitch i didn't pull it make a chain turn the work to the back side i'm working in rows Pattern consists of only two stitches and has one row. Let's look. There is a loop from the slip stitch. Make half double crochet into this loop. 
I skip this loop, insert the hook into the next one, make half double crochet. Continue working in this way as I did in the previous time. So I repeat pattern as I did in the previous row. Here what I have. So I am working with front and back loops, but different stitches. Make the half double crochet and work with half double crochet into the back loop. Continue working in this way till the end of this row. Then I will show you how to complete this row together. And I will start the next one. This is the back side of the project and there is the second row of the straight part. I leave this stitch, insert the hook into the first half double crochet, make a slip stitch. I do not pull my slip stitch. Make a chain, turn the work, and this is the front side. Yarn over the hook, make half double crochet into the loop. Then half double crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. So make half double crochet into the each loop of the next stitch. Like this. So I alternating with half double crochet into the loop and half double crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. Let's stop and look. Pattern consists of two stitches and has one row. I remind you I am working in rows. So pattern is double sided. Here how it looks. Let's look at the back one. So you can use this pattern not only for head but only scarf or another accessories for winter. Please write comment below this video what you will get and where you will use this pattern. I continue working on my straight part. So you should work as many rows as you need for your head. So my straight part is done. Let's measure my swatch. I remind you, this is the double sided pattern. I measure from the top to the bottom and include the brim part. So it is over 20 centimeters. Almost 20 centimeters. Let's look at my current project. And now I'm going to work on the crown. This is one side and let's look at another one. I would like to share with you the second look of my pattern. I like the back side of the pattern. Keep working. Next stage is the crown. It is going to be a last stage of the head. So the next time I'm going to work with the crown for my head. Please write comment below this video what side do you like more. 
first one or the second because I like the second one. And let's crochet the first round of the crown. It is going to be a first round of the crown. For this, make a chain. As I did before, turn the work. So I'm going to work in the same way as I showed you before. Yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the loop. Make half double crochet and half double crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. Insert the hook into the back loop and insert the hook into the back loop of the next stitch and make degrees. Make half double crochet into the next loop of the next stitch. So as you can see, I'm making degrees. After the last degrees, I'm making two stitches straight. Make the first one, make the second one. Three. Four. And make degrees. And repeat one more time. Then make into the loop. Continue one, two, three. And make degrees like this. Repeat one more time, one and so on. So I'm going to work with all rows in this way. Let's look at another side. I'm working in rows. Let's complete this round together. It was row one. I will crochet in the same way as I showed you before. As you remember, I started to make the graces and I continue working with the graces in the next rounds. But for me, most important is save my pattern. I did one degrees. If I continue working with degrees, my pattern will be destroyed. Because I need to do half double crochet into the back loop before the completing the work. In this case, I'm going to do one more degrees. I did half double crochet. This is the first round of the crown. Now to complete the work by making a slip stitch. So round one or row one is ready. Please pay attention that you should make half double crochet into the back loop before the completing the round. You should work into the back loop in this case. You should keep the pattern in normal way. Please be careful. Yarn over the hook. Make the first half double crochet. Now make the grease first one, the second, and make half double crochet one, 
continue to I count only stitches that I did into the back loops so I will make decreases into the each third loop one two and make the third one make degrees one two as you remember i did it into the as you remember i did it into the as you remember i did it in the first round i just repeat in my pattern as usually one two and make degrees and make how double crochet into the two back loops It is very simple to make, so you should crochet as many times as you need for your crown. I have done all rounds with degrees. As a result, here what I have. I have got 26 stitches. Then I will tell you later what I need to do with this hole. And now let's look at my head. As you remember, uh, my straight part is double sided. So while making the crown, I chose the front side will be this one. So this will be the front side because i like it more and now i'm going to work with hole now i show you how to remove it you can remove this hole with sewing needle or with crochet hook and with the needle you can go through the stitches and pull the hole or you can crochet one more row with degrees using crochet hook and after this you should work with sewing needle but please pay attention that you should sew with the needle go through the stitches you should sew the hole on the back side of your project. For me, for me, I prefer crochet one more row with degrees than sew my hole using sewing needle and yarn. So I continue working on my crown. I have got the small hole. Make a chain. It is going to be the last round of the crown. Turn the work. Make the first stitch as I did usually. I have done the half double crochet. So I go going to make degrees into the each back loops. Then half double crochet into the loop and make degrees into the back loops like this. Make just half double crochet, then make degrees 
Continue working in this way till the end of this row. My row is ready. I just need to sew the hole using the sewing needle to secure the yarn by making a chain. As you can see, I have already cut off the yarn, but I left long piece of yarn to sew my hole. For this one, I turn the head to the back side and sew my hole using the sewing needle. Let's sew my hole together. So with the needle, go through the stitches like this. With the needle, go through the stitch. With the needle, go through the stitch. After you have done the seam, you should pull the hole. After pulling the hole, let's repeat the seam with the needle go through the stitch. With the needle go through the stitch. And with the needle go through the stitch. Like this. So I pull my hole like this. Then I'm making one more round around this small hole and pull it again. As a result, you will get amazing head without hole. Also, you can put the pompon to this hole if you want. So my crown is ready. Here how it looks. I remove it my hole. So I have done my seam and I removed all yarns along the stitches. Let's measure my head. As you remember, this is a double sided head, so you can choose any side of the head. So while making the crown, I choose one of the these two sides. And as you remember, my head consists of three parts. Brim part, straight part and the crown. For this head, I used two patterns. One of them is for the brim and another one is for straight part. So let's look at the back side. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on social media and of course crochet with me and learn more. Let's measure my project. The width is 23 centimeters. It is a little bit elastic, so, so brim part could be 29 centimeters. Let's measure my project. I will measure from the top to the bottom. It is 27 centimeters. So for this hat, you don't need a special skills. You just need to know how to crochet, half double crochet and front post and back post double crochet. Please visit my YouTube channel where could be found a lot of different video tutorials for any level of crocheter. Let's look how my head looks on the mannequin.
and please write comment below the video what you will get with me. This is the first site, how you can wear it. My amazing beanie hat is done. So here how it looks. For this project you just need to grab the ball of yarn and the crochet hook. And as a result you will get warm and comfortable hat for every day. Let's look how you can wear it in the second time. For this one I chose white color of yarn but in your case it could be your favorite color and different size of crochet hooks. Please feel free to share this video tutorial if you like. See you next time. Good luck in crafting and thank you so much for watching. Bye!